All right, so this is a quick video that I wanted to demonstrate Quartermaster with and how I built out the Carmen's data set for AT43. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna open up Quartermaster. This already has everything loaded uh, and we'll talk about editing files and all that kind of fun stuff. So don't worry about that and how to get files into here. Uh, first, I just wanna talk about the actual file set and how I kind of organize things um, in a way that I hope makes sense. It does for me, but you know, the perk about Quartermaster is if you don't like it, change it. So I'm gonna tap on this little plus icon. I'm gonna choose my game system. I'm gonna choose my army and I'm gonna hit create. And I immediately go into uh, my uh, army builder list, whatever, words. Hit the plus icon. I'm gonna choose my organizational unit or my platoon. Since this game is built that way, it just kind of made sense to me that this is how I would organize things. So if I tap on my organization chart, I can see uh, kind of in the middle here that I have infantry lists. These are my requirements for that particular organization chart. And then I can use the attach unit down in the bottom right corner to go through and attach all my different units. Uh, and I got all the support teams, I got all the vehicles, I got bunkers, uh, anything that had a card that I found, that's what I ended up using. So if I want to choose multiples at one time, I can tap multiple. And then if I want to start adding in whatever those might be, uh, although I got three Wendigos with Darius, let's get rid of that. Let's add Cornelius if I'm using Wendigos uh, and some Yetis. I know this isn't a legal list for this particular organization unit, but uh, you'll this is what you end up with. You get the your total points in the top right corner uh, and if I end up doing multiple units, then you'll see later it tallies all that stuff. If I tap into one of my units here, uh, I can uh, add my uh, special weapons, add grenades or not, uh, and it does base off of it uh, by the number in the unit. If I want to do a maximum unit, uh, I just need to uh, use my adjustment scores up here. So because the way this game is organized, in the way that this app works, the, f dealing with the points is a little bit of fudge, uh, and you have to be a little generous to, to the mechanics here. So uh, a base unit, standard unit, of four Anacongas is 250 points, but a maximum unit is 500. I can hit max and increase my count over there on the left-hand side for model count, but it doesn't adjust my points. Uh, and this is because when you're using Army Builder, you can set it to uh, be points based off of per unit or based off of per model. Uh, Anacongas are 62 and a half points per model unless you start talking extra fighters or if you ta take the maximum unit bonus. Uh, it doesn't really work out super cleanly. Um, so I opted for this method to try to represent maximum units accurately uh, represent the points costs accurately and then if you end up wanting to use extra fighters or things like that um, so if I take a guru which gives me a number bonus which I have listed here of two uh, then I can add my two extra fighters and it so this is gonna it, a little little bit tricky but if I do grenades technically that's 40 that's for eight unit eight uh, s models it doesn't really count for these extra fighters. I'm not sure how I want to handle this, uh, but if anybody has any ideas, uh, have at it. Now I can turn this marker into the same as uh, this, these gun weapon options, if that's preference for the community. Um, I don't know if there's a consensus on how you want to handle that. I don't know how popular it is to take extra fighters. I never really did whenever I played. I usually just did standard stuff uh, in maximum units. So your mileage may vary. Um, if you tap on these little arrows, they'll give you some of the brief descriptions of the weapons. Um, like if I do the flamer as well, it'll tell you this uh, special rules like direct fire and projection. If I do karmic warrior, it'll do uh, for uh, per model and all that fun stuff as well. Mechanic, it's just mechanic. Um, so it'll give you an idea of once you're actually looking at stuff, what what lies in your list, and you can swipe to the left to. Uh, make things go away or you can use the edit function and do the same thing for bulk deletion 
Um, if you end up wanting to duplicate this, you can hit the copy button in the uh, bottom left, and you'll be able to see multiple lists uh, or multiple units. If I start adding in an additional uh, platoon type and we start uh, diversifying a little bit, um, you can see how all that kind of shakes out as well. Uh, and so once I have my list built, I can use uh, the summary button in the bottom middle and see a uh, summary of everything. And this is where that maximum unit and extra fighter thing um, got a little peculiar for me uh, and why I kind of like focused on it a little bit more. Um, because in my list here, if I see the eight on a Congas, it's a maximum unit, but I got my two extra fighters. So yeah, yeah. I mean, we can we can adjust this uh, to make it 10 as a max, um, or I don't know. It, I don't know how what I'm feeling as far as uh, design and, and organization is, is concerned. Uh, so if there's people who have a strong opinion on it, um, what you can do when you are, when you've downloaded everything, you can click on factions, you can go to the faction itself, go underneath our different area. And if I just, like, if you see that there's a typo or uh, misrepresented points costs, or you want to add some options or whatever it ends up being, or if you just want to like delete the word morale and just put M or stuff like that, uh, convert combat to CMB or CBT or something, whatever you want to do, you can go in here and make these changes on the fly. Um, so if this was eight and I actually want to make it maximum 10, I can go back in here and I go out of f my factions, I go, out of here and if I start a new well I think I can go to an old list and uh, pull stuff up yeah this is already set so this won't change but if I uh, go in here and let's say I add a new unit of anacongas oh no not this one this one's already loaded I guess so we'll have to delete that list we'll make a new list and Standard is where I changed it. Uh, Anacongas over here. I set max 10. And then I do my two uh, adjustment fighters. And there you go. I've got actually a, a properly pointed out unit. Uh, well, now I've got a properly pointed out unit. So hopefully that kind of makes sense for people um, and has some nice flow for things. Uh, it kind of shows off that you can edit things really quickly if you find anything you want to change, uh, anything you want to do there. Um, in addition, the one thing I want to touch on under here, you'll see I have entries for um, all the different kind of infantry units instead of just platoons. Uh, so if you end up wanting to um, move your units over here, you can use the three dot ellipses, copy from existing, and use the little arrow to go in here and copy out units uh, if you end up wanting to build that way and not use the platoon's organizational feature. If you don't think that way, if that doesn't work for you, um, it's super easy to move all that stuff and adjust things as you see fit. Uh, and if you're done, you can always hit delete. Um, one last thing I'll also mention, uh, since these units serve double duty to some extent, um, what you can also do is under advanced settings, secondary roles. So since Anacongas are one star infantry, if you want to be able to see a quick list of uh, what all your infantry, you know, one star or two star infantry ends up being, when you add, let's say uh, the Anacongas, uh, and we know they represent multiple things, when I go back to my list here, I see my list of one star infantry. So if I actually double this. I now have my list of four Anacongas. And if I see a summary, it'll show the same basic thing. That's not going to change a whole lot. And there's different kind of formats you can export to. Um, but uh, I don't know. It, that, if, if that thing interests you, you have the ability to do it. Um, if not, you know, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the deal. Um, if anybody ever wants to create their own factions, you basically just come in here, click create faction. Um, uh, Greg's go, go gadget dudes. Uh, and you can start adding in platoons and providing information, stars and infantry and all that business. 
Um, you can start adding that stuff, and then uh, when you come back out, you will see uh, all the fun stuff. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the deal. Um, there's a minor bug I gotta fix with uh, obviously this thing where all of a sudden my faction, my Carmen's disappeared. Um, so I gotta figure that out because that's annoying. Uh, but you get the basic idea. Hey, so uh, one more commentary about loading files. Uh, so normally, if you go to uh, Quartermaster Templates, you can browse around and uh, see what kind of files they've got. Uh, let's say Necromunda, Cotor. It'll ask you to download. You're looking for QM templates for Army files. Game system files are referred to as QM system. Uh, with uh, AT43, since I don't have it submitted to uh, the folks down in Australia who maintain this, um, right now I'm loading testing stuff via Dropbox. Uh, and if you end up wanting to create your own stuff and test it, make sure it imports correctly, make sure it loads correctly, all that kind of fun stuff, this is how you're going to have to do this. Uh, you can, uh, if you use Dropbox or something like that, you can create a link. So for example, here I've got my Dropbox account. Uh, this is the file that I want. I'm gonna right click on it and do copy link. I'm just gonna copy that. And then if I go into Safari and I visit that link, it'll load up as something that I can't preview. I'm gonna download it. And then if I top, tap this top right corner under downloads, I can tap that, it'll import. Um, if I do it this way, everything appears, right? Uh, so heads up, if you try to just take like a Dropbox link and export it to Quartermaster somewhere, open in Quartermaster, it'll say import failed. Um, it's a bug and a quirk with how iOS handles um, file management and how um, uh, Quartermaster is handling file management. It's something they are aware of. Um, I don't know when there will be a fix, but heads up, if you are editing your own files and trying to create stuff for the community, um, that is uh, kind of a gotcha. But wait, there's more. Uh, so while I was recording these videos, some of those uh, army lists disappeared. Um, what I ended up doing, um, let's say if I create a fake one here, um, and I back out, all of a sudden something has disappeared. If I go and I quit the app entirely and I reopen, um, everything's still there. It's just the way that it's reloading the arrays and everything, uh, if you want to get into a technical aspect of coding. Um, I'm wondering if there's something weird going on there, or maybe it's the way I generated these uh, army files. I don't completely know, um, but heads up, that is totally a thing. Um, and uh, if you ever do look in here under <laughs> uh, items, these obviously don't are not relevant. Uh, you can delete and modify these things if you so fit, uh, if you so choose. Um, there's some other features um, that are hidden in there that I don't use um, because I do a lot of my editing uh, on a desktop. Um, but uh, yeah, originally this file was created out of a wreckage test file, so. Uh, that's why that's there if anybody's ever curious.